Welcome in, Moonline Mafia and Bourbonites. How is everyone doing tonight? I hope everyone's doing great. I'm doing fantastic. My boss, Josh, just got in off a plane. Him and Miss Chastity had a fantastic Mexican dinner. And guess what? I have the house to myself. Ha! Welcome in, everyone. We've got some great guests tonight. Fantastic guests. House of X Entertainment in the house. If you don't know who they are, you need to learn. And tonight, you're going to learn who they are. But again, this is the Weekly Creator News. The news you didn't know you wanted, but now you know you need. Welcome in. Welcome in, Bourbonites. I am so glad to have each and every one of you in here. All right. So to begin with, let's start with a little bit of Creator News. This is not all encompassing. However, I hope that I caught most of the folks that had some big milestones this week. First up, the Cruising Koozies, new to the community at 35 subscribers. Go on over there, subscribe to those guys. They're good folks. Also, the Hillbilly Chicken Ranch. Ha! Hillbilly Chicken Ranch, 800 subscribers. The Moonlight Adventures, my bosses, who I happen to love very much for the job that they allow me to have here at 900 subscribers. They're actually at 921, boys and girls. So you know what that means. Get out there, get those guys some likes and subscribes because they are only 79, 79, say it again, 79 subscribers away from that 1K mark. We've also got Z coming off of a big night the other night where he was live for hours, hours and hours. And Z ended up with 300 subscribers. He's actually a little over 300 now. But fantastic work, Z. Helping Hands for Cruising. They are at 140. And by the way, they're a great organization. We interviewed them the last time we were live. And they need more subscribers. Go on over there and subscribe to Helping Hands for Cruising. Ron Sees America at 300. We've got the travel adventures of Eric B., who hit a new milestone of 800 subscribers. The Fearless Rambler at 700. And yo, 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 Eddie Lugo Studios hit 700. Our friend Cheryl, she hit the 300 subscriber mark. Congratulations to each and every one of you. And if you have a milestone that you'd like to share, feel free to put it down in Johnny's chat. Feel free. All right. So before we bring our awesome guests on, we've got a little bit of business to take care of. We've got to pay the bills. Johnny, ha oh, yes, yes, sir. Understood. That was Mr. Josh, and Mr. Josh would like to let each and every one of you know that the Georgia Bulldogs are still the greatest team in the land. He wants to let everyone know that Stetson Bennett is the goat of all quarterbacks, and he said, how about them blankety-blank dogs? Go dogs! There we go. Yeah, okay. Now... Little bit of admin we've got to take care of. Johnny has to pay the bills. All of this doesn't come for free, guys. So here we go. Let's pay those bills. All right. Get the screen right, John. Get the screen right. There we go. So first, Popple. The Moonlight Adventures use Popple. It's a fantastic tool. We've talked about this before. It comes with all outstanding marketing tools like this little card right here that has an NFC chip embedded as well as a QR code. Josh said he used this today, picked up a couple subscribers. If you use the code Josh Moon, you get a discount of 30% on any Popple item. However, just to let you know, Popple is free to use. It's just the other items like the card that'll cost you. But this little guy right here, Five bucks. Come on. Next. Helping Hands for Cruising. 
We just talked about their channel. They are an outstanding organization that gives opportunities to those who otherwise, due to monetary reasons or physical things that ha they, they have going on with their lives that they cannot sell, they give them an opportunity to do so. If you'd like to, go ahead and hit that QR code. Give them a donation. Also, subscribe to their channel. They're trying to get independent of having to ask for donations. If they could monetize their channel, they'll be able to send more people on cruises. Also, the Insta Coach. This is a new channel from the Moonlight Studios getting ready to launch here very soon where they're going to talk about successful side gig strategies. The Insta Coach. New video up from the Moonlight Adventures. Need help preparing for the military? The Moonlight Studios offers a service called the D-Team. Ha! Go check him out. The World Wrestling Vlog. Tomorrow, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. The Cowboy Paul, the referee Billy J, and the Moonlight Mark will be live discussing the potential sale of WWE. Also on Sunday... Shooting the breeze with the Moonlight Adventures. Josh and Chastity finally decided on a cruise for March. They're going to talk about it. Go check all these things out, guys. And now, without further ado, drum rolls in the chat, please. Drum rolls, drum rolls. These guys, they stay entertaining. Yeah, you know who they are. They bring all the YouTube entertainment to the Bronx. Here they are, House of X Entertainment. Welcome to the show, guys. What is up? Hey! hey. hey. We stay entertaining. Come on now. I don't know the rest of the song, but I like stay entertaining. You know I'm talking about Mother Mary? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Not Mother Mary. Welcome in, everybody. We see hey. you in the chat. We got Megan. We got the Valdez. We got Game with and Noah. Hey, Bestie. How you doing? Thank all of you guys so much for coming. Yes, hey. we got House of X family yes. in the building. Hey, Aaron. How you doing? How's everybody doing? Yes. I said, how you doing? doing. How you doing? Ha! Thank you for taking care of me, guys. I don't really know how to work the tube. I'm just an anchor. That's all I know how to do is this right here and use my hands and my voice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Hey. So House of X Entertaining. House of X Entertainment Incorporated. Yes. Debbie I -S. I -S. Now, these guys, they stay entertaining because guess what? This is their main channel, but they also have other channels. Leo's a gamer. You Watson is a fantastic cook. You know, Andy's an author. Andy's an author, by the way. Yes. You cook? Yes, I do. Ooh, I gotta tell you take those you. dirty words out of your mouth, Troy. I am not a leg. Oh, not a Airborne leg. all the way. Huh. And Who's stuff. Leg? I like legs. Are we no. Mm -hmm. Dirty, oh. filthy legs. That means you never jumped out of an airplane before. Oh. Okay. All right. You guys do that? Johnny Bourbon. He can't talk about the things he did in his prior life. Oh, oh. all right now. Johnny Bourbon has to keep it on the DL. <laughs> Not the DL. You know what they say about the DL, girl. Mm -hmm. All right the now. Driver, it's the driver's license. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's all on there. Yeah. Hey. All right. So, hey, guys. So, tell us a little bit about House of X Entertainment. What is the channel about? And why should people subscribe? Well, they should subscribe because we are dope and cool and fly and entertaining. Yeah. Well, Go ahead. Tell them, son. Well, we are an entertainment company. We bring you entertainment uh, at a broader standpoint. It could be wherever we are. You know, we could be just going out to eat. We could be going traveling somewhere. We could be at a bar, a club, or just sitting in our house and want to press live or do a video. We're going to give you authentic and real entertainment. All right for entertainment. I got to watch you. All right. All right now. I think I'm going to go sub right now. I don't even have a YouTube channel. Oh, well, you know, what are you waiting, waiting for? for? Subscribe today. 
I mean, they, they gave Gunnar Wayne a channel. I don't even have a channel. Oh, now they gave Gunnar Wayne a channel. Okay, what up, Gunnar Wayne? How you doing? What do y'all think about Gunnar Wayne's wife, Pegasus? Ooh, she's Is lovely. Is she not beautiful? Yeah, she's lovely. Just, just between us guys, I'd kind of like to, you know, uh, I'd kind of like to go see Pegasus myself. I, oh, really? Oh, Pegasus. It's just between us, though. Don't tell Gunnar Wayne. Okay. We won't tell him. No, he's, a beast, he's a beast of a man. A beast of a man. Not a beast. Not a beast. All right now. Yes, he is. Oh, all right. So, hey, guys. Uh, where are you from? Where are you at? Um, We're from the Bronx. We live in the Bronx. But I was originally born in St. Thomas. And I'm originally from the Bronx. I moved uh, to New Jersey and then moved back once I found the love of my life. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Well, that's awesome because you don't want to stay in Jersey very long. I can tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't never lie. Yes. All right. So you said that Watson is the love of your life. And obviously that's reciprocated. How long have you two gentlemen been together? Oh, good Ooh. question. Uh, it's been a while now. It's been a while. What, eight, seven years? I want to say seven. We might have to count, huh? Yeah, we might have to count. Oh, eight years. Okay. Eight so years. You was right, boo boo. Yes, it's been, we've been together eight. You years. know why the year just started? That's yeah. what it was. I was like, oh, I'm still thinking we're in last year. Yeah, we've been <laughs> together um, eight years and what? We've been married seven. We've been married seven. Yeah, yeah. So let me ask you. I I heard you say boo boo. You got a lot of catchphrases, and. <laughs> I like to pick up on those. I know about the Mother Mary. I know about the snap, snap, circle, honey. What else you got for us? We Ooh. got Miss Mary. We got You Tried It. We got... Um, oh, yeah, You Tried It. Everyone says that. We got yeah. Keep It Cute. Yes. Keep It Cute means just, you know, you can do a lot online. Just don't do too much because yeah. then you have to keep it cute. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Y'all been together a minute. Yeah, we have. We, we've grown to like each other. What do you mean, like? Because he can be a lot, honey, okay? He? Yes, Miss Mary. Okay, girl. Ooh. <laughs> well, you know, Mr. Josh has grown to like you guys a lot. He speaks very highly of you. Um, so what are your schedules as far as your House of X Entertainment channel goes as far as drops, lives? Let the people know when they can see you guys. Ooh. Um, for this channel, mm -hmm. I think we we... I think we kind of go with the flow when it comes to yeah. We kind of wing it. We yeah. had a schedule, but we I think schedule everything around the interviews. Yeah. So if we don't have an interview for the channel, then the rest will just be lives or vlogs. Yeah, we go with the flow because we also have to drop content for the the, the other, other two channels. The other two channels. So we like we we go with the flow. Like if we're doing interviews, like three interviews, then we fit in a live or we yeah. fit in a blog. And then the rest of the month, you're just going to see uploads from the other two channels. Outstanding. And I understand you you told us just a while ago, you're from the islands, Watson. Mm -hmm. So how long has it been since you've been to the beautiful St. Thomas? Oh, my God. Um, since my mother died, <laughs> that was in 2012. A lot of the folks here in the chat that are cruisers, they love St. Thomas. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I'm I'm sure you love St. Thomas as well, but it probably has a different meaning. We yeah. see we see the, this part of the island. You saw the entire island. What's yeah. it really What's it really like? Um. Well, it changed now. Like I looked at a few videos on it, and I've seen a lot of different things. So, if I was to go back, there'll probably be like certain places that I probably won't recognize. You know. Um won't recognize now but um it it, it well, has because yeah, you've been going on for a long yeah time. it has some sentimental value um my sister is like some of my siblings are still there um thank you eddie lugo yeah captain billy said saint thomas october for the first time on carnival celebration okay cool so okay Cruising scene says they love St. Thomas. Oh, I, wow. I forgot about the little piece of admin here, guys. Johnny Bourbon will not forget about your questions. 
If you have questions, throw up three question marks or three cues, and Johnny will hit the star, and Johnny will get to them at the end. I promise. I mm. promise. So drop those questions in there. Also, when you have time, go on over there and subscribe. They've got a couple other channels. We're going to talk about them here in a second. We're going to talk about them here in a second. So who does the majority of the editing and creating for House of X Entertainment? <laughs> that would be Mr. Teddy over here. Uh, yeah, I do the editing for all three channels. Yeah, wow. I do the entertainment. He does everything else. Leo's the face of the organization. Wait, who? Leo, you're the face of the organization. Well, yeah, I guess so you can say yeah. something like that. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> you're 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 up there with the the glamour shots. Well, yeah, you know, you know, I know. When you came on the World Wrestling Vlog, you couldn't hold those gators down. It was like Ric Flair popped into the house. Okay, we love us a good yeah. Ric Flair. Mm. Okay. Shout out to Ric Flair. Yes. Yeah. I think okay. everybody should be a little glamorous. <laughs> so tell us about your other channels. I'll start with you, Watson. Um, well, my channel, I've always wanted to do um, cooking. Um, Megan can she can attest to this because she's a longtime supporter of you. Bet. Go ahead, Megan. Go ahead, girl. All three of all three of them. At first, I started off the channel doing reviews on TV shows. Just, yeah, we were doing TV yeah, shows together just to get monetized. He was doing Power, Empire, and the other show, Greenleaf. Greenleaf, and it was a show with the Vogue game. Yeah. Um, Post. Hey, and friend. Post. Hey, uniquely hey, lavish. lavish. Yeah. Hello. And at first, I was doing that at first. And then when the pandemic hit, um, I had to switch my content. So then I went into doing um, inspiration. I was, yeah, I was doing like a morning time talk show. Mm -hmm. Okay, let Jesus in. Yes. And, you know, I would give inspiration, give a motivation every morning at 9 o'clock in the morning. And then after we finally moved, because... Because of living conditions, the kitchen wasn't conducive okay. um, to cook in. Yeah, that kitchen was a fall in the park. Yeah. So then I, once we moved, I said, okay, I can transition the channel again <laughs> into doing cooking. Yeah, he does a lot of transitioning, honey. Okay. Yeah. You better go ahead with your transitions. Hey, oh, sorry. Johnny was thinking about Peggy for a second. Oh. Ah. Okay. <laughs> She's a beautiful lady, and she's just upstairs. I thought I heard her drawing a bath. Ha! Oh, my oh, God. Not All drawing right, a bath. So, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Leo, tell us about your channel. I know you do a lot of gaming. I see you doing a lot of Def Jam. What's that all about? Okay, okay. We're going to talk about my channel. We got a little bit, got a little bit. So we have to take it to the beginning, because I originally wasn't doing gaming when we first got here, because... Between us, I ain't even know gaming was a thing on here. Okay, who would have thought it, right? Exactly, that part. So when we first got here, my whole channel was about music. <laughs> I was doing music, I was doing lives, and I was doing shout-out videos. Mm -hmm. Once we moved and I started seeing some gamers come in and support me as I was doing my music, they were telling me that I should go ahead and try gaming. And I was like, oh, okay, I didn't know gaming was a thing on here. So I bought the, I bumped into the right person on YouTube, shout-out to Ro. And he was giving me uh, tips of what I needed to transition my channel from music to gaming. And that's how I got to the gaming side of where I am now. I've been doing gaming for a year and a couple of months now. What is your favorite game? What's your favorite game to stream? Let me let me rephrase that. Favorite, favorite game to... Come on, John, get the words out. Favorite <laughs> game to stream. Okay. <laughs> Pronunciation over there. Um, That's right. I would say wrestling. Wrestling is my strong point. Um, mm. Wrestling was something me and my mother grew up watching, so it was me and her thing. Everybody else likes everything else in my family. So wrestling was definitely me and her connection. Um, wrestling for the channel, Watson always tells me I should do more of it, but because it's something that I know that will always be there for me to lean on, I try not to overshadow the channel with wrestling. But eventually, wrestling is going to take over the channel, though. Yeah. But I think wrestling, because they get, well, me doing lives, period, they get to see more of my personality. But I think with wrestling, because I have to commentate, talk, and 
do a whole bunch of shenanigans. As I'm playing a video game, as wrestling is going, they get to see a whole bunch more. So I think it's the interaction with wrestling. Me doing wrestling gives them a little bit more of my personality and time with me. <laughs> so are, are, are you on Twitch as well? No, I'm not. But people have been trying to talk talk to me. Talk to me. Tell you. Talk me into getting there. Now you got me doing it, okay? Um, I wouldn't mind doing Twitch. It's just me and Watson have Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, and three YouTube channels. Mm -hmm. I think too much social media, just for me, is overkill. You know what I mean? Because you have to still go in here and be nice to people. And I don't want my personalities to mix if I'm working too much because then it doesn't become fun. And then you want to strangle people and go, ah! Yeah. So yeah, three. YouTube is YouTube is the money maker. Everything else is just a feed. I don't know. I believe if you're good at it and you master your craft, anything can be a money maker. So if you're on Facebook and you do Facebook lives and you're really good at it and you have a base that'll follow you, Facebook could be your money maker. Same thing with TikTok. Three. I mean, YouTube just happens to be what we're good at because nobody knew us. Uh -huh. On Facebook, everybody knows us, got friends and you know, drive queens and everybody that we worked work with before we got here. But when you go to a platform where nobody knows you, it really, you know, the fans and the support really come in. So that's a good point. You mentioned how many other social media platforms you're on. So you said them once, but just list them succinctly for us. That way we know where we can follow you guys so we don't miss a bit of your entertaining because we know you stay entertaining. Okay. Well, okay. We are on TikTok. Tell me where at. We're on TikTok at House of X Entertainment. Okay. We're on Instagram. At House of X Entertainment. We have three, just to let y'all know. We have we have one TikTok for House of X Entertainment, but when it comes to Instagram, we do have three. One for the House of X and then two for our separate channel. Yeah. And Mine is Yo, it's your boy Leo, and his is It's Me, Watson. Yeah. Yesterday. So whatever the YouTube channel name is, is what the Instagram is. Yeah. And for Facebook, we have three. Um, because well, we kind of have a couple of Facebook, but yeah. that's another story for another timeline. Um, <laughs> we have separate Facebook for our channels, and then you know the personal Facebooks. That's if you know we let you into our whole. So I have a, a Facebook with like my church friends, um, my friends that I grew up with, church people, my family. That's one, and then I have another Facebook that says Leo Elegance. Um, because me and Watson come from drag, and mm -hmm. you know, we're former title holders, we'll get to that in a minute. So, we have a page for that. So, mine is Leo Elegance, that's where like all the drag queens and promoters and people that we work with throughout the year is on. And then I'm in charge of House of X Reloaded, that's you know, I run that page, and then Watson runs House of X Entertainment, yeah. It House of X Reloaded and House of X is the same thing, it's just one's a like page and one's a regular page, yeah. The Reloaded is the regular page, and the um. House of X Entertainment is a like page, but you can get either one of us on either page. Uh -huh. That's amazing that you guys did drag. Well, we didn't do drag, but we're okay. Let me, how do you explain it to the girls? Um, did, you, okay. did you promote so, drag? You, you were a promoter. Um, okay, let me explain me and then I'll swing it to yeah. Teddy. Okay, so I, for those who don't know, <laughs> I'm a hip hop dancer. And once my mother passed, I moved to Georgia because I was dating somebody. And they really, 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 really wanted me to go to the club. Me, I'm, I'm one of the people you got to pull and tug and pull and tug because I don't really be trying to go nowhere. Okay, let's keep it real. So one day I was like, okay, you know what? You're asking me way too much. We're just going to go to the club so you can stop asking me. So they take me to the club and I happen to go to a drag pageant. <laughs> so there's like drag queens, there's music, there's costumes, there's changes, there's dances. So I, my mind is just blown away. I'm like, ooh, this is very intriguing to me. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So once I meet everybody, I'm like, well, is there anything the boys can do because I don't want to be in drag? So they let me know that there's different pageant systems and different prelims that you can do. Yeah. So as the year went on, I, I wound up performing mm -hmm. and doing cartwheels and backflips and all this and, you know, making, making my coin. Yeah. And I wound up winning a prelim and it led to me being the state title holder. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why have we not seen this on the channel? Oh, I got to see some backflips. It's further down. now. It's like time out. Like, wait a minute, do the Harlem Shake. Shake. Okay, I have a couple oh. of videos. <laughs> I have a couple of videos on my channel of me dancing. Yeah, and that's 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 videos, though. Yeah. yeah but one says, "What does it say?" One is my five year anniversary of being Mr. Gay New Jersey. Yeah, so you can see that one. And then the other one was me dancing on the cruise, and which I won the dance. But we do then. have some of us performing on this channel. Oh, and then there was a booking. We yeah. had a booking and yeah. I performed for that. Yeah. But there I is completely some understand now. That's that's how you won once and over. 
He saw the backflip and he was sold. Yeah. It was all it was over with. Yeah, there is some um there, actually that's how he broke into the business. Okay. <laughs> so so fast forward, you guys. Um not fast forward. A little a little bit about the history and the business. So basically, House of X was originally a drag house. You were supposed to say that in the beginning when he first asked that yeah. question, Miss Mary. It was originally you want a me drag to swing house. It and then you do it. No, I got okay. it. Um, if you go to the website, it tells you all the history of the of it. So yeah. basically, I saw the vision of what Leo was doing. He said, Watson, well, when you're not gonna be a part of this, I don't want you. I said, just let me win one pageant, let me do it for one second. Okay, so let me give you the history a little faster than how he's breaking it down. I've had the House of Eggs um since 2008 when I was doing entertainment in the drag form. I met Watson in, we started talking in 2013 and we got close in 2014. Mm -hmm. I had a booking, which means I get paid to come out and perform. And he came to the show. We got to know each other. And then Watson wanted to be a part of what I was doing. And I really didn't want Watson to be a part of what I'm doing because Watson has a very strong head. So sometimes, you know, he can bump people (laughs) the wrong way, but that's just Watson. Like he's very strong headed like that. He's a Leo. Y'all know how Leos can be. Okay. So um, along with other people, they were talking Watson in and, you know, you don't want to be the husband that says, no, I don't want you to do that because then you sound like a negative person. You know what I mean? So I was like, you know what? I'm going to put my hands up and just support. At that time, you were my boyfriend, my boyfriend, as he wants to do drag. Mm -hmm. Um, Watson won his first crown under the House of X banner, which was really, really cool because it it showed that I had great leadership skills because, you know, I'm leading. I had to be his dresser, his makeup artist and all that stuff. Um, I think the next year we got married. We was already married when I got my crown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we got married and then you did drag. Okay, so that's yeah. How we yeah. we was married when we turned, you won. Yeah, 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 yeah. When we turned the company into, uh, when we turned the drag house from yeah. from uh. Drag- so in 2014, when he met me at the show, we were dating. The next year we got married. After yeah. that, the next year, Watson would start his drag yeah. career. Um. So we were doing drag. Watson won his title under the House of X banner. And then Watson, we wind up hosting our own drag show. So now we're in charge of paying the girls to come out and perform. And, you know, you take your money from the door and the tickets and the raffles and all that stuff. So we were teaching ourselves how to be businessmen, which was really, really fun and really, really good. Because you get to learn a lot as you're in charge of, you know, monies and tickets and things like that and promoting and stuff like that. Um, My loving husband at the time, seeing a bigger vision for what we were doing which I couldn't have seen at the time because I, I was so stuck in drag. And Watson was like, we need to take the company and turn it into an entertainment company. In the beginning, I didn't understand Watson's vision. I'm one of them people you have to show me so that I can jump in and lead the way I need to lead. You know what I mean? Because I may not see the vision at first. So I didn't understand what Watson was talking about. I was like, we come from drag. Like, how are we going to turn this into an entertainment company? Like, I'm not understanding how you get to A and B. You know what I mean? See your way out of it. Okay. No, so... <laughs> As time went on, we wound up getting on YouTube, and the rest was history. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> amazing. Yeah, I learned something new about you guys every day. Yeah, but if you go to the website, it, it tells you all of that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Captain Billy J says the drag shows are a lot like pro wrestling shows: booking, tickets, entertainment, music, etc. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah it sounds like the next time Johnny Bourbon is mm-hmm. up around your way, you probably need to get ringside manager or valet. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Thank Johnny you. Johnny can do the promo. Thank you to yeah. Adele's family. Says Watson is a great vet. We'll see what yeah, happens. He, he, you know, he he's he says I have great leadership skills, but I always give props to Watson because I don't think we would have made it this far without his half of the vision. You know what I mean? So I always give Watson his props because I'm like, man, you can see things that I can't see. Like I can lead us, but your vision of things are, are incredible. Yeah. Watson's a pretty fart smeller. <laughs> <laughs> now you're passing gas. Lord. <laughs> hey, and I'll tell you what. They know the best place to get chicken in the Bronx. Oh, I can tell yeah. you that as well. Hey, Adam, love. How you doing? Hey. Josh told me all about the chicken dinner he had with you guys. Oh, yes, yes. Um, I think we have a question. Can you tell us about the uh, particular yes, challenging... Yes interview you have considered and how you overcome any obstacles wait who said that the valdez family can you tell us about a particular, particular challenging, challenging interview? interview you 
um, and, and how you over. I'm trying to think if we have challenge. I don't know if we have challenging interviews because how our show works is because me and Watson are skilled in two different things. So we mm-hmm. let each other be ourselves. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So Watson will pick some people on the internet and then I'll pick some people on the internet. And that's mm-hmm. how we come together um, to do the interview so that, you know, he gets to pick who he likes and I get to pick who I like. Yeah. So I wouldn't say we had any challenging interviews because everybody we, we've chosen, we, we know them from social media or we know them from real life and we always want to bring them to the show and give everybody something different. Like, I don't think a lot of people realize just how many different people have come to the show. We had a, a tech person come. Yeah. We had singers come. We have producers. We have artists. We had And have, uh, pharmacy tech, yeah. Yeah, pharmacy tech. And we artists. had a makeup artist. We had and, gaming people yeah. come. We have people who make games come. Like, we always try to show light to everybody mm-hmm. because we want everybody to win. You know what I mean? It's and all about summer, growing and your summer, business. I to know you with a, with a watch salesman. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we did. We interviewed Trap, yes. And yes. some of the... We got to meet him. He's so yeah. cool. Shout out to Trap. And also what we normally do, the questions that we ask are questions that... Oh, we had a fashionista come to the show, too, who's yeah. in here right now. Yeah. Shout out to Uniquely Lavish. Yeah. So, we got the chance to interview her. Some of the interview, the interviews that we do, well, all of them actually, and majority of the questions are questions that you approve. Yeah. So we interview Josh and um, Chastity. So the questions that you guys approve are questions that we put together and we say, okay, this one was approved and this is good for the interview. So none of the questions that we do ask are not approved by yeah, the Yeah, like if you see season one and season two, they're completely different because we've grown a lot. Yeah. When we first started doing interviews, we, we didn't write down any questions. Yeah. We were just going. And as the interviews went on, we was like, you know what? We need to prepare for the interviews and do our research so that everybody understands who's being interviewed and yeah. what they have to bring to the table. And then season two, I think season one and season two, we had a total different background. Because yeah, we, um, we upgraded in season two. We had a theme song in season two. Mm-hmm. So I, I, there's, there was a lot of growth yeah. and changes. And um, I think that's why a lot of people like our show. Yeah. Because um, it keeps going. And like it keeps unique, like it keeps Uniquely Lavish said, we pre screen yeah. the guests because our show is designed to make you comfortable. Yeah. Because interviews can make someone nervous, interviews yeah. can make a person feel like they're going to put everything out there. If you don't want to talk about something, it won't be talked about. Okay. If you don't want this to be mentioned, it won't be mentioned. Okay. You know, so that's basically, we're designed to make you comfortable because you're doing us a favor by coming to our show so that, you know, we can shine light on you and you, you and your business and your business and you can also shine light on us. Yeah. Because people always say YouTube channels, but your channel is your business because it has something to do with what you're doing mm-hmm. also outside of YouTube. Yeah. No yeah. ambush interviewing the House of X. I'm <laughs> ambush the House of X will not have any gotcha journalism. No gotcha <laughs> journalism with House of X. Hey, Tamina, you hey. okay, sis? Yeah, because you want people to feel comfortable. You want them to feel like they can talk about anything yeah. with you. Yeah. You know what I mean? We also interviewed Tamina. She's also a healthcare provider as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hats off to all the healthcare providers. Yeah. Okay, good job. Crazy, oh. yeah. <laughs> crazy couple years. Yeah. Crazy couple years. Her interview was fun because it was different because mm-hmm. she her channel is about um, reball journals. Yeah. And she was able to educate all of us and the audience of her channel and um, the reball journals and mm-hmm. what they bring to the table and how important they are and why people buy them, invest in them. And it was just a fun, educated, learning experience interviewing her. So, I mean, if you guys get a chance, check out that interview. Too, yeah. That, that was really fun. I yeah, think I mean, I, everyone connect. Everyone connect. Yeah. I think our next goal, probably when we move to a bigger space, we want to do like a sit down setting where we have like the microphones and we'll probably still use the same backdrop. Yeah. By the time we get to season four, we'll probably have a different background. I don't think we'll be using the green screen as as Um, much. But I think our idea is to more so have like a sit down setting type of scenery and maybe microphone scenery, you know? So that is more so a more like a dinner type of yeah. vibe, you know. What I mean, you sit, you conversate, have a little bit of cocktail, honey. yeah, or maybe like some tea or some wine or something, yeah. Um, that we're trying to go for. It's all designed to make you feel comfortable, yeah. Multiple cameras, multiple microphones, 
Yeah. It makes a big difference. Yeah, yeah, it does. So, hey, guys, I was checking the poll. Uh -huh. And you know Johnny likes to get on the poll. Yes. We Johnny was poll. checking the poll. And over on the poll, we found out that 59% of the people uh -huh. know that Watson is an author. However, that means 41% doesn't know. So there's 41% of this population within this community that need to go get that book. Yeah. So will you tell us a little bit about the book, Watson? Okay. Well, I am a published author. The book is written by me right here where it says Watson Williams, and it is Pain Leads to Purpose, Volume 1, My Life, My Story. So in this book, you are going to get Volume one of my story um, from it's what 50 about about 43 pages of the book. It is amazing. I'll just read a summary of the prefix on it for you. It says when you think of pain, I know you're like, damn, what kind of pain? Well, this is a story of how a young man who was lost and full of so much pain, hurt and dislike as a child. Even when he would smile, he was still hurting. This is a story of my truth. For years, I once and have lived a lie, giving fake smiles, thinking I was okay, but I was not. Now, I know you're like, well, how did you get there? Keep reading and you will find out. So in order for you to find out, you have to go and purchase the book. The book is available on amazon.com also Barnes and Nobles, and you can also go to houseofxentertainment.com and purchase the book as well. On Amazon, you can get it in a hardcover, paperback, ebook, Barnes and Nobles in paperback and also in a ebook. House of, hey, Wally Hustle. And we also, just mentioned y'all. <laughs> and also on House of X Entertainment, you can, all, you can only get it in a paperback. Now, if you want a signed copy, which I happen to have one right now, for a paperback signed copy, you must follow me on my Instagram, which is It's Me Wanston, Yes, Honey, all together. And you must inbox me your address. And for the shipping and the book itself, for paperback, it will be $25. For a hardcover, you must give me about a week because the book has to get to me, I have to sign it, and then I have to ship it to you. So that will be $40. And my cash app um, is, it's me wanting yes, honey. Okay, or you can check my channel and it will it'll have all of that. So, yes. Captain can I get, Jay has a question because a he, has, he has a problem reading. He says, is there a pop-up version of the book? Ah, Ooh, pop -up. <laughs> a pop-up version. <laughs> oh, I just, hey, I go, go ahead, Leo. I want to give a quick shout out to um, Wiley Hustle. Um, the glasses I'm wearing tonight was sponsored by them. It was a great birthday gift. So I just wanted to say thank you. Yeah, I shout out to say earlier, it looks like you have some new glasses on. You're looking sharp. Mm -hmm. You're making them pop like how Johnny makes them pop. Yeah, shout out to Wiley Hustle, Evolving with Etta. Yeah. Hey, darling. Yes. Yeah, so There's a lot of people that uh, put Leo together. They just don't know. <laughs> also, I'm going to hit you up. So for shout that out to Wally Hustle. Oh, so really quick, guys, when we when we get done here, this will be posted to YouTube as a standalone video. Mm -hmm. yeah. Folks, we'll come back and watch the replay. So if you would like, please go into the comments and drop all the information for your book so folks can go get it. Okay. Drop it in there. Oh, Send it my like way it. also, and I'll put it in the description. Drop it like it's hot. Okay, drop, cool. Drop it like it's hot. Cool. Drop, drop, drop cool. It. Aaron, double A Rod Smith has a question here. He says, Leo, how far out are you from having your comic book out? It's in the works. It's in the works. Um, <laughs> this is something new. And again, he, uh, he, I like my husband because he gets very in, like, the minute I turn to do something, he's like, Watson, I want to do this, but you're going to have to help me. Like I, when Watson dropped his book, I was very inspired and it made me believe that I could do a book too. But I said, I want to do something that represents Leo. And you know, sometimes people look at Watson and go, like, well, Leo, when are you going to tell your life story? And I'm like, well, I don't think my life is that interesting, but when I get there, God will let me know it's time to write that book. So I was like, okay, if I'm going to do a book, it needs to be a comic book because that'll propel my career in the direction that it needs to. Cause I want to make video games. Mm -hmm. That's why I have a gaming channel. You know, we're trying to do what it's doing, what it do. Um, but the good news is the person that's working on my character, 
my character is almost done, so he might make his debut either the end of the month or the first week of February. Yeah, the first week of yeah. February. Will your character so, be dancing and doing backflips? You you gonna have to read. read yeah. The book for so that. <laughs> the character that you're gonna see on his channel is actually the character that will be in the comic book. So once we finalize like all yeah. the characters, and then. We're gonna start writing the story, then get in the background and putting it all together. Yeah. Um, we believed in because after my character, I have to work yeah. on Austin's character. Like we try to do everything <laughs> in decency and in order. Yeah. So taking your time is the best way. Yeah. Like to be honest, my book was supposed to come out on my birthday. That was not God's time. <laughs> so it came out October 30th. So Godspeed, you know. Um, we have a question from the Valdez. What advice would you give to inspire? In, to inspiring authors well the first thing i would say don't hesitate take your time you know um make sure you pray you meditate on what you want to write if it's your life story the first thing that you need to know you're putting your whole life out there so you're going to get your critics mm -hmm. you're going to get people that's going to dislike you mm -hmm. you're going to get people that are going to love you because you put out your story out there and you're also going to get people that are going to talk about you. Mm -hmm. So you have to prepare yourself for that. Mm -hmm. If you're doing something where it's a love story or it's a comic or something, you have to prepare for everything. And you also have to prepare for the fact that you're going to have to be your own promoter. You're going to yeah. have to be your own person that's going to have to push this book because you're doing um, self-publishing and you're your independent artist. So every day you have to get up and promote it. Every yeah. day you have to shove it in somebody's face. Hey, can you buy my book? Hey, <laughs> can you check out my book? Hey, can you go on this and do this? You know, so you have to prepare yourself for that. You have to prepare for the comments from social media yeah. where people say, oh, you can't spell or you can't this or you should have whatever. So in preparing for that, um, you know, you have to, it, it takes preparation. You know, and in doing that, having a book, it gives you a backbone, I would say, you know, because, yeah. I, I, I love me that book. being on YouTube and having a YouTube channel kind of prepares you for that. Yeah. Because you're going to have haters. Yeah. But you know what haters are? Haters are fuel for your inspiration. Amen yeah. to that, child. If you got haters, you're doing something correct. Okay. That part. Yeah, that part. Yeah. Man. Amen. Yeah. Um, what's fun for me is I get to learn and watch Watson do all of this, so it prepares me for what I have to do when it's time for my comic book to come out. So, shout out to Watson because he's a great teacher. <laughs> Watson's a great creative guy. He's definitely got a future beyond what we're doing right now. Yeah, I can tell you that Watson watching him work, watching him work at the comic cons and everything that he does, he's got a great future as a producer. Director for sure. There, there's a lot of parts I did not share in my book because one of the reasons because there has to be a part two, honey. Yeah. Okay. So it's the part two for me. There's a lot of parts I didn't really share in part two. And part one. <laughs> part one. And one of the reasons I kind of write it because, and some people even on YouTube don't even know this. I was in special classes. And when you're told that you won't be nothing, you can't be nothing. And your in your mind, you know that you can be something, you can do something, or you will achieve something. So everything that I have or I have worked for, set up my mind to do, is because I earned it. Yeah, that's right. Self worth is step number one. If you understand your self worth, can nobody hold you down? Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's advice for everybody. Everybody that comes from like a special ed background, we're prime examples that you can get anything done and accomplish anything and keep dreaming and keep pushing and keep going. You're going to get haters and you just dust it off and keep going. That's right. That's right. You've got special ability. Next, I, I want to say for us, the next step is our TV debut. Yeah. Yeah. You got to speak what you want. And I want my TV debut. Hello. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So is hey guys, it so serious or no? <laughs> to to get it to get away from the channel and the business a little bit, uh -huh. because guess what? YouTube is all about authenticity, and yeah. you two gentlemen are two of the most authentic people I've ever met. Mm -hmm. So 
if you could, Leo, give me, and I'm still in a little bit from you guys. I've watched you guys do this. Give me three words <laughs> that would describe Wanson. Oh, smart, loving, patient. Ooh. Because I, I know I'm a moody person, and I told him that when we first met, I'm a Pisces, so my, my mood swings. You have to have a lot of patience to deal with me. Well, I'm <laughs> Well, um, <laughs> I got to come with a big birthday gift then. <laughs> now, the same question for you, Watson, toward Leo. Okay. Um, he is very intelligent. He is a motivator because he's always like, Watson, you can do this. You can do this. Um, very much caring. Very much caring. So smart, he's intelligent, driven, and very much caring. You forgot stylish. Yes. Okay. This man, oh. styling and profiling. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> so what, what's next, guys? What is next? You guys go to Comic Cons a lot. I've noticed that. You have a ton of great things that you go out and do. You've um, introduced the world to a ton of stuff within your yeah. own environment because – the New York area is crazy. What's next for the channel? Well, well, Watson has two interviews coming out to promote his book. Yes. Let's talk about that a little bit. <laughs> um, okay. I have two interviews coming up to promote my book. So on the 21st, I will be on Wellness with Frugal Mama's channel. And then on January 28th, I will be on Uniquely Lavish's channel to promote the book. Now for House of X, in 60 days... We'll be on our second cruise for Leo's birthday cruise. It's actually our first group cruise. It's called the X Invasion Meetup. Um, we'll be going to, we'll be sailing on Carnival Sunrise, leaving from Miami, um, going to Key West, Florida, and Casamel. So this will be our second time actually cruising. We're excited. Um, we extended the invitation for everybody to join us to celebrate Leo's birthday with us um so yeah we're really excited for that that is the that is the second adventure and then right after that i think we'll be doing a little weekend weekend trip to what philadelphia yes yeah we're going to Philly. do a weekend, we're going to do a weekend trip but that's like later on no yeah later on in that's the like year. in june in there's june. the um fan expo so we'll be going to that yeah. i think that'll be the first time i'll be dressed up as a character. Yeah. Because I'm going to work on that as soon as um, I'm done with my birthday. Then I get to work on cosplay. So that would be cool. Yeah. So um, that's later in the year. We'll be doing that. And then um, before we actually get to the Philadelphia trip, um, I'm doing my book signing in actually May the 6th. So I have a little meetup at a restaurant and folks can come and bring their books and um, I'll sign the books and we can eat and talk and, you know, just, just have fun. Aaron Smith has another question. He says, you guys talked about a watch seller on your channel. Was he a luxury watch seller or a collectible watch seller? I know oh, the answer to this, but I'm going to let you fill it in. That is um, Trap Vision 3D. He's also an affiliate for Invictor watches. He has a lot of Invictor watches. He's a collector. Um, his wife, which is Wiley Hustle, that is their channel together. So, um, yes, they um, he has his own channel. And then the channel that they have together is Wiley Hustle. Yes, and he also does watch battles on his show. So if you are a collector, you can be on the show if you have somebody to battle that matches up yeah. watch-wise. Yeah. Which is a really, really good season. Like, you guys got to check his channel out. Yeah, he What's does. a watch battle? Tell us about that. I'm intrigued. Oh. Um, well, we, um, if you go to our channel, yeah, we actually had the privilege of meeting Trap and his lovely wife mm -hmm. when they came in April of last year. Yeah. And, and he did a battle in at, Times Square. At Times Square at the Invictus store. Yeah. And it was a watch battle. Folks who were collectors, um, those who are Invictus collectors, they battle with the different watches and best watches that they would have. Yeah. Wow. So it was really good to see it. Yeah, it's good because they educate you on the watch, the style of it, mm -hmm. um, the size of it, where it comes from, mm -hmm. how long they had it, what it means to them. So it's a knowledgeable event as well. You mm -hmm. get a lot of knowledge in it. Yeah. John's favorite is the Avengers watch. Okay. 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 
But the Moonlight Studios just doesn't seem to pay enough for John to get one of those. <laughs> oh. Well, so maybe I'm probably going to have to get one of the Favengers watches. Yeah, you know, you know we got to do something to get you an Invicta. Uh, well, they also have, have one from Wish on his channel too. Yeah, so you might be able to win a watch. Yeah, they have oh. they do a lot of giveaways. So hey guys, we're 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 spooling down here. Uh, we haven't really talked enough about. Uh, Trev is in the, oh, here Trev we go. Is in the channel Trev right Vision. now. Yeah, he's in the trap. He's in. Hey, shy. So oh, it is trap. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Welcome in. Welcome well, in. Well, if you want to come in through your channel, so they they can grab you. I got a pro diver in black with the uh, uh, silk movement. Yeah, our we actually got pro divers, and we didn't know we was there just to support. And I tell you guys. If you ever invite us to anything that you're having, we will come show up, support, and even help. You know, that's just what we would do. Yeah, it was a fun experience meeting them because I think they thought that we were coming down as entertainers and we mm -hmm. actually just came as Leo and Watson. Yeah. So we did a lot of supporting and we were holding the camera, holding the mic, holding the bags. Mm -hmm. And it's like, this is this is what we do outside of YouTube. Like yeah. we were regular people. Yeah. So I need, I need to give Watson a little bit of time about his channel. Oh, uh, yes. Well, sure. First, I'd like to ask Watson, what is your favorite dish to cook? Ooh, Ooh. There, <laughs> there is so many. Um, oh, my God. <laughs> there's so many, but my favorite, favorite dish to cook, it would have to be curry chicken. Oh, that's yeah. your favorite dish? Well, at least I have to pick. I have a lot of them. Oh, I, I, I didn't think you would have went with that answer. Yeah. Because you know what it is? When Watson's cooking noodles, any type of pasta dish, it actually works for the channel. Yeah. So I thought he would have went with pasta, but he is Caribbean, so I should have. I yeah. Guessed. So um, it would have to be curry chicken, black rice and beans, and some cabbage. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. So it would have to be that. I Next am, time John is up there, you gotta you gotta get on some of that curry for me. Yes. Yeah, do, you, do, you, do you do uh do you do curry goat and curry oxtail? Oh, yeah. Yes, I oh made, yeah okay I now made, now made, we're talking i made some curry goat i'm gonna do some oxos i am coming out with a cookbook because the um the subscribers wanted a cookbook so i do listen to my subscribers and, and his husband and leo so that is coming out very soon that is coming out very soon like with me and watson we push each other because we know each other's strengths and i was like watson if you're along with other people if you you have a cooking channel then that's automatically common sense that's going to lead to a, a cooking book you know what i mean yeah. you have a cooking channel cooking book it just goes hand in hand so aaron smith like is, he's aaron. wanting to know about the uh, cosplay show at the big apple comic con oh we love big apple comic con that's actually where we got oh, wait time out we actually went to two different comic yeah. cons and we got two different experiences two, yeah. let's start there um, October was was New York Comic Con New York Comic in the center. That was yeah. amazing. Big Apple was amazing, but it was a smaller stage because it's in a hotel. Yes, but um, we when, had fun at both. Yeah, times. but New York Comic Con opened up the door for us to get the press passes. Yeah, and we were able to experience a smaller convention, mm -hmm. an intimate space, yeah. and be able to talk to the cosplayers mm -hmm. and those that the vendors that were tabling. So we actually, um, you know, made some connections with someone that we're bringing to the show in February. So um, that's actually coming to the show in February. Oh, yes, yes, yes. The lady. Yeah, she's a yes. rapper. She's also a cosplayer. So um, she has a lot of albums out. She's on SoundCloud and everything. Yes. So she's actually coming to the show in February. So yeah, she performed at the cosplay. Yeah. Did, did you ever, meet your comic collaborator at one of these comic cons, Leo? Did I meet? Ooh, oh, did I meet a collaborator? I met a lot of different people that inspired me. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Um, we have a friend named Tyson Cosplay, mm -hmm. and he inspired us to want to dress up and do cosplay. So shout out to Tyson. Um, we talked to so many different people, and I think at Big Apple, the person that we talked to, we liked their work. And they, the communication was good, so that's the person that's working on my um, my character, and he's gonna work on Watson's character. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if I want the same artist to do the entire book, so you know, I, I might want to bring in some different people to do different things. Big Apple seemed more personal. 
Yeah, it Everybody was. keeps saying that. It okay, was, wait. I was. need to know why people say that, though. Because we were more up close, you know? I, I, I think, think it was the setting. I think it was the just... Setting, of course, yeah. We weren't there. We were watching it through the lens of your camera. But I believe it just felt like because you were right there with everyone. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and it's also because your skills as vloggers are improving, I believe. That has something to do with it as well. Oh, we try. You get we better really every try. time. Every time yeah. you bring the camera out, you get better. Yeah, yeah, we were able to go live at this event because when we went to New York, the the Wi Fi was horrible because there was a lot of beams in that place. Yeah, it was, and I was just like, "How is this in the center, and we can't get no internet service?" But yeah, New York what, definitely. Watson, we we know about Leo's extracurricular activities. We know he likes to game. We know that he loves WWE and wrestling. Watson, we know you like to cook. Dancing, okay, but what else do you do? What other things do you like? Are you a fisherman? <laughs> well, do you, do you want me to tell him? Around? What's, what you got going on over there? You want me to tell him? Well, I'll, I'll name one thing that Watson does because I don't think a lot of people know. Watson can design. Mm -hmm. Okay. He can, he can sell. So when he's not signing autographs for his book, he's actually sewing stuff and rhinestoning and, and, and making me look good. So Watson, um, what do you think about this tasty number that I put together? It looks fabulous. I am also um, homeless. I am also a homeless and prevention specialist in the state of New York. Fantastic. Um, I, I really don't talk about it because you know you tell everything on here, people are gonna know your whole business. Well, not your whole. You business, know, and right. then if you don't tell some stuff, then people think that you're broke. You know. So, however, I can't with you. However, I do help folks find apartments. Um, you know, so that's basically what I do. You know, I've had a lot of friends, a lot of different folks come to me for help to find apartments. All right, guys, we're running down to the very nub here, getting down to the end. Tonight's a big night for YouTube. There's a whole lot of other folks coming on right after us. So we have approximately two and a half minutes to go here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you two gentlemen the solo screen. You've got two minutes to sell your channels and let the people know why they need to come subscribe. They also need to go and become members of your yes. channels. Yes. So here you go. Hey, you guys. I'm Wanston. And I'm Leo. And we are the House of X. And we stay entertaining. Yes, guys. So you know, we always stay entertaining. So okay. come on over and get your entertainment to the House of X Entertainment. Okay, who needs cable when you got us? Yes. Okay. And you already know, I'm going to give you all the great meals at It's Me Watson. Yes, honey, you want to okay. learn how to cook. So come on over yes. to It's Me Watson. Yes, honey's channel. Him. Okay. Um, I'm a gaming channel. If you guys like gaming, I do gaming. Um, I'm specialty. My, one of my specialties is wrestling. And anybody who knows me knows I love X-Men. So if you go to my channel, you'll see a lot of X-Men. Um, Def Jam Fighting for New York is a game with rappers and singers in it. It's a fighting game slash wrestling game. It's cool. If you've never played it, come on over and watch me play it. We can play it together. Now, I know what you're thinking. Leo, how are we going to play it together? I ain't thought that far, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Okay. Now, on the House of X, I know what you're thinking. What y'all do over there? I'm glad you asked. We do interviews. We do vlogs. Okay. We do it. Nobody else is doing, honey. We entertain all the way through. Okay, all the way through. So if you want an entertainment, we the channel. If you want an interview, come on over and get your interview. What you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Is you trying to get your interview on? Oh, oh no. no. Yes. All right, gentlemen. I love you guys. And don't forget to pick up his book. Get the book. Get yeah, the book. On. Yeah, I'm going to remind Leo, yeah, if, you're on, on. if you're on Team Replay right now, go down into the comments and get a copy of this book. Get a yes. copy. It'll change your life. Yeah. Thank you, gentlemen, so much. I hope you guys have a great remaining weekend. Thanks to everyone who um, came and hung out with us. Seas. Who's in on high seas? Says, I will take an interview. Who's in on high seas? Just inbox us on Instagram at House of X and -E T. And um, evolving or someone that's a mod in the chat can also put our email. It's, how, it's info at houseofxentertainment.com. And we will get back to you. Fantastic. Also, Fantastic. Trap is in here. So if you guys want to talk about watches or if you're in a Victor collector, he's in the chat. Make sure you guys connect yes. with him as well. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hey, thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This was such a great show. We got to have you back on. 
I think Josh and Chasty need to have you on their channel as well. You guys probably should have Gunner Wayne and Peggy Sue on. I would highly recommend Peggy. Uh, but anyway, thank you guys so much. Johnny Bourbon, we are out.